All right, y'all, some quick questions I'm going to answer today because we're getting a bunch in now that the app has flipped and is starting to push out programs again, mainly in the south. I uh, wanted to talk first of all about prodiamine pre-emergent. A lot of y'all are concerned because your lawns are still dormant, means brown, you're not mowing, and you're thinking this says prodiamine, it says plus fertilizer, fertilizer plus herbicide. So understand that the fertilizer in this is really just there for a carrier and it's just a little potassium. There's no nitrogen in here to push the lawn. So the long and the short of it is we mainly care about the chemical that is actually attached to the granules because that's how they get prodiamine out. Where's the WDG at? You could actually get the powder by itself in one of these and mix this in water and spray it and there's zero fertilizer in that at all. If you want to do granular, which most people are comfortable with, we need something to attach the granules to, and so they attach them to these prills, and some of that is potassium and some other stuff. So long and the short of it is, it's okay to put this on a dormant lawn, okay, because you want to get this in before weeds grow, get it watered in. Now, the next thing that you're going to see then coming up is stress blend. This will be mostly people in Florida and South Texas right now as I'm doing this at the end of January. Um, if your lawn is growing to the point where you're starting to mow, then you can apply this. Little bit of nitrogen here, 7020. But if your lawn is still dormant, you hold off on this one. This one's okay. If you're still dormant and not mowing, wait on this one until you start mowing. That's the only thing. Now, if you are green and you get this, like me in Florida, I'm green, I'm growing. Both of these can be done in the same day, not in the same hopper though. Two separate applications, apply this, then apply that, or whichever one, and water it all in together. Yes, you can do them on the same day if your grass is growing. Last thing, you're gonna get biostimulants now. These are kind of the two we're using here in the spring mostly, uh, RGS and Humic. These right here, these can go down on a dormant lawn or a lawn that is being mowed. It's up to you, really. Uh, if you're super dormant, well, not super dormant, right, technical term. In other words, if you're like in, I don't know, Georgia right now and you have Bermuda, it's gonna be a while before you're, you're green and growing. I would hold off on the RGS until you're growing and use the Humic 12 right now because even though the lawn is dormant, the soil is not and humic is great for the soil. But when you get closer to the time when you are gonna start mowing, then you can break in the RGS. Can these be done on the same day as these? Yes, super app, right? You could do it all the same day, water it all in together. But really, I mean, we kind of give you these to stretch things out, to go a little bit further during the season. This right here, prodiamine, gotta get this down, gotta stop weeds, this is your best defense. Fertilizer needed, once the lawn starts coming out of dormancy, this is gonna help it, stress blend. These here, these are supplemental, these are for the soil, these can be done at any time. At the same time, a little bit before, a little bit after, and that's why these are concentrates, they'll go a lot further. So, hope that answers some of your questions. Whatever platform you're on here watching this, if you leave me comments below or questions, I'll try to answer those. So with that, hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you in the lawn.